I, well, I grew up in a small farm, as I say, and we were surrounded by neighbors of all religions. Well, I think there's only two. <laughs> Everybody knew who everybody was. Actually, there was one woman we weren't too sure of what she was. We're a bit worried about her. They call her Hard Boiled Eggy. And they, remember, we used to gather spuds for her, potatoes. And at the end of the week, she used to say, If I don't pay you, the Lord will. <laughs> And it wasn't really what we wanted to hear. <laughs> but we knew she had, she had some sort of faith. Something. I think. But people who come to our house at night, to my father played the fiddle, my mother played the accordion, and they would come to uh, sing songs and tell stories and uh, play tunes as well. And uh, because there was, a, there was much of a Scottish snap in tune, as it was of an Irish lilt. And people came from both sides of that community. And uh, I remember my very earliest memory was watching toes tap into the same rhythm, regardless of the political persuasion or religious affiliation. And I realized very young that music was something that could somehow connect up all the secret and the sacred things inside us without our knowing or understanding. But this song comes from some years ago and it took me almost 10 years to write a song about it, what happened. The house was surrounded by roses. I remember one evening in the summer we could hear explosions going off in the town of Newry, five or six miles away. We could hear the Lambeck drums were played very loudly, just a few fields away. And someone said, no matter how, troubles, how close the troubles get to us, it won't change us. We're friends, we know each other, we work in the fields together. But one year from that day, things had changed. The song was about two people who came to our house. For adding to the sorrows of this troubled northern land. But lately I've been thinking, and it just won't leave my mind. To tell you of two friends one time, they were both good friends of mine. Alan Bell from Pinnock, he lived just across the fields. Great man for the music, and the dancing, and the wheel. Oh, man, he came from South Armagh to court young Ellis Fair. And we'd often meet on the Ryan Road and the left in Villiers. There were roses, roses, roses. Tears of the people ran together. Protestant and Sean was Catholic born. It never made a difference for the friendship, it was strong. Sometimes in the evening, when we heard the sound of drums, we said it won't divide us, we will always be the one. For the ground our fathers plowed in, the soil it is the same, and the places where we say our prayers have just got different. We talked about the friends who died, and we hoped there'd be no more. It's little then we realized the tragedy in store. There were roses, 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 tears of the Sunday morning when the awful 
news came round. Another killing has been done just inside the town. He knew the gun that stopped there. Well, I'm 